So this next section covers the neutral density filter state. Now, just a quick explanation. A neutral density filter is usually a piece of glass and it sits across the front of the camera and the glass is a bit darker than you would normally have in front of the lens. Say you wanted to take a picture of a waterfall during daytime and quite often people like to have a very silky look to the water. It looks like the water is running very smoothly. And to do this you need a slow shutter. So if you wanted to take a one second shutter during daylight, well I'll show you as an example actually. If I wanted to take a picture in this room at one second, which it's set to it now, you can see how very overexposed it is. Um, I could change my aperture and my ISO, but imagine I'm outside in the daylight, in the middle of the day, that's going to be far too bright. It's already overexposed in my room, so obviously out at waterfall it's going to be too light. So what we want to do is put that bit of glass in front of the, the lens. And what that means is we can still use a one second shutter but because the lens is a bit darker less light is affecting the image. Remember when we open our shutter speed to a long amount of time more and more light comes into the picture so it becomes brighter and brighter. So if we want to use a slow shutter in a light room we need to stop that amount of light coming in in one go. So using the darker glass means less light gets in but we can still use that slow shutter to make that movement look really smooth. So that's what a neutral density filter is. So this option here, I was reading up about it. The neutral density filter state is really built for cameras that have a built-in neutral density filter. And what it will do is, in, in a camera that's got it, unfortunately the SX40 doesn't, uh, some cameras have a built-in neutral density filter which it will swing down in line with the lens and the camera's sensor so it's causing that darker image to stop so much light hitting the sensor in one go our camera doesn't have that however I did test out this option and it does actually work so even though we don't have a neutral density filter built in it does sort of override the settings in a way that allows us to do long exposure as if there's neutral density filter over our camera. If we switch it on, it doesn't have on or off, it's got in. And in is basically that filter has swung in and gone between the lens and the sensor. So if it's swung in, it's switched on. So if I just show you an example, it's my nice messy room, I apologise. Put something there. <laughs> So if we've got the neutral density filter swung in, you should see, see as I half press the button, CHDK has overridden our settings, you can see at the top it says ND filter in, and you can see it's already a lot darker. If I then go to my neutral density filter state and swing it out, that is basically saying that we're not using the neutral density filter. And you'll see, see how bright that image is? That's because we're trying to do a one second image in a light room. So we only actually have on and off. So if you had it built in, you'd swing it in to use it, you'd swing it out to stop the camera from putting the filter in, or you'd switch it off so that the camera was judging it for itself. In our case, we don't have one, so we either switch it off or we swing it in and CHDK is going to override our settings.